friends and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. Today we will do a very important chapter that is boards and streams. To solve questions from this chapter, you should know the four basic terms, the basic concepts. The first one is the board speed. Boat speed is the speed of boat in the still water and it is denoted as U and there is a stream. Stream stream speed is the speed of water and denoted as B. Now if a person is going this way against the speed of stream. We need to deduct the speed of stream from the boat speed. So the upstream speed upstream speed is equal to u minus v. Similarly if a person is going this way along with the speed of stream. So we should add the stream of uh, uh, speed of stream with the boat speed. So it becomes u plus v. In many questions the downstream speed is given and the upstream speed is given but we need to find the value of boat, the speed of boat and the speed of stream. So if you add the downs downstream speed and the upstream speed, so let's add it u plus v plus u minus v, uh, simply u plus v plus u minus v. So it comes out to be 2u and it is double of the speed of boat. So simply to find out to find out this, assume the down, uh, downstream speed as A and the upstream speed as B. So A plus B divided by half. So that is the speed of boat, the formula to calculate the speed of boat. <coughs> In case you want to find the speed of stream, Simply, instead of adding, deduct it. Deduct upstream uh, upstream speed from the downstream speed. U plus V minus U plus V. So it comes out to be 2V. Similarly, it comes out to be 1 over 2A minus B. So that is the speed of stream and that is the speed of boat. That is the speed of stream. Let me write again. Speed of stream and that is the speed of boat. A man takes three hours to row a boat 15 kilometers down, downstream of a river and 2.5 hours to cover 5 kilometers upstream. Find the speed of stream. First of all, we need to find out the downstream speed. The downstream. The downstream speed comes out to be 15 kilometers divided by three hours distance divided by uh, by time it comes out to be 5 kilometer per hour and the upstream speed the upstream speed comes out to be distance that is 5 kilometer divided by time that is 2.5 hours so 
it comes out to be 2 km per hour. Now we need to find the speed of stream. So the formula to find the speed of stream when the downstream speed and the upstream speed is given that is speed of stream is equal to half of downstream speed minus upstream speed. So half of the downstream speed is 5 and the upstream speed is 2. So it comes out to be half multiplied by 3. So it is 1.5 kilometer per hour. So the speed of stream is 1.5 kilometer per hour and that is our answer. A man's speed with current is 15 km per hour and the speed of current is 2.5 km per hour. What is a man's speed against the current? First of all we need to find out the speed of man in still water. In still water. The speed in still water will be the speed with current minus the speed of current. So that would be 12.5 km per hour. So the man speed in the still water is 12.5 km per hour. So we need to find out the man speed against the current. So the man speed against the current or against the stream will be speed in the still water minus the speed of stream. So that will become 10 km per hour. So that's 10 km per hour is our answer. A motorboat whose speed is 15 km per hour in still water goes 30 km downstream and comes back in 4 hours and 30 minutes. What is the speed of stream? So first of all, let the speed of stream is equal to x. So the speed of water, the speed of the boat, speed of boat in still water is 15 km per hour. So the downstream speed will be downstream speed will be the speed of boat plus the speed of stream. So that will become 15 plus x kilometer per hour and the upstream speed will become the speed of boat minus the speed of stream. So that will become 15 minus x kilometer per hour. Now let's make an equation out of it. So the distance, distance divided by speed is equal to time. So a person goes upstream and the downstream 30 km uh, for 30 kilometers each. So the distance in case of downstream is 30 km and the speed is speed is 15 plus x. Similarly in upstream the distance is 30 km and the speed is 15 minus x and the person takes 4 by 1 over 2 hours. So let's simplify this equation. So the equation was 30 over 15 plus x plus 30 over 15 minus x is equal to 9 over 2. 15 plus x 15 minus x it comes 30 15 minus x 
plus 30, 15 plus x. If you call, if you could recall a formula, that is a plus b, a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. But that is a basic algebraic formula. You should remember this. Okay, we, now we will apply this formula here. So 30 multiplied by 15, it will become 450 minus 30x plus 450 plus 30x divided by 225 minus x square using this this formula a square minus b square is equal to a plus b a minus b is equal to 9 over 2 is equal to so remove 30x plus 30x minus 30x and it will become 900 over 225 minus x square is equal to 9 over 2. We can remove the 9 here, so it will become 100 is equal to 1 over 2. So, doing cross multiply, 200 is equal to 225 minus x square. So, the value of x square is 25. So, the value of x is equal to 5 and the 5 is our answer. Five, the speed of stream is 5 km per hour and that's our answer.